Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another video. As some of you may know, WonderCon is currently happening this weekend at Anaheim Convention Center in uh, California. Um, a part of that has just been overnight, uh, overnight for me at least, uh, within the last few hours, the Hasbro uh, toy panel sort of got a few, few reveals for the show, which is cool. Um, and yeah, just wanted to talk about uh, some of the Star Wars reveals. We haven't got any official photos yet. Um, they will probably drop as soon as this video has gone live, as the way it always is. Um, but yeah, Toy Shiz has uh, got some of the best photos I've seen, so I'm just going to use those for the for the purposes of this video. Um, so yeah, let's let's take a look at the uh, Black Series reveal, and it is just a solitary reveal for this stream, which is fine. Um, we're getting Momornade on nice aka Hammerhead. Um, really looking forward to this one. I know a lot of people are. We were just talking about this. Um, I was talking about this with uh, Metal Jedi on my live stream last week. And this is one I know he's going to be very, very excited about. Um, yeah, very, very pumped. More new molds, new sculpts, you know, all, awesome stuff. Looking forward to seeing what else they're going to do um, in terms of Cantina Aliens, whether we're going to get some more. Very, very exciting stuff. So. He's looking good. He's looking very, very cool. I'm excited for this one. Now on to three TVC reveals, which is very exciting, particularly those who backed the HasLab Ghost uh, last year. Um, they, Hasbro did say we would get some alternate versions of the Rebels characters. Um, so if you didn't back the Ghost, you're going to be able to get some Rebels characters, not necessarily how they're going to appear in their later seasons. But um, yeah, we're going to be... Getting some earlier season versions of, of the Rebels crew. Um, three of them pictured here in this image. These are the ones that are going to come with the Ghost. These are exclusives. Um, so yeah, you'll definitely be sharing the excitement with me. Um, if you're picking up the Ghost, which I am, I'm looking forward to receiving that thing. Um, but yeah, the fact that we're getting different versions of the Rebels is going to leave me tempted to keep the ones sealed that are going to come on the mural cards. As much as I want to open those figures, they look really good. Um, so yes, yeah, straight out the straight out the gate is Ezra. So still based on his season three and four outfit, here's a very slight little um, some slight tooling changes to the one that we're going to get with the with the with the ghost in the Haslab, um, which is nice. It's refreshing. It's an option. I do hope they revisit the season one and two version of Ezra where he's got the little bit longer hair and a, and the slingshot and everything. Um, but yeah, I'll pop a photo up on top and compare him to what we're getting with the HasLab. Which, as you can see, the HasLab version obviously is coming with his Scout Trooper helmet and the Loth Cat. This version is not. Um, his collar appears to be a little bit bigger, like around the neck. So it's sort of a little bit more animated style with the HasLab, whereas they're sort of going with the realistic interpretation more so um, from the hologram of Ezra Bridger from Ahsoka, which I think this one's actually going to come on an Ahsoka card. Um, I have seen some images, I haven't had a close look, um, so we'll find out very, very shortly. Um, but yeah, next up is his Master Kanan. Now this figure is one we've been wanting for probably 10 years. This is um, this is exactly what would have been, you know, awesome back in the day, you know, back when Rebels was first kicking off. So we're finally getting Kanan Jarrus from, you know, his season one appearance as in, in three and three quarter action figure form, which looks fantastic. He's uh, he's really, really looking good. I'm very, very excited about this Kanan. Um, yeah, those animated figures back in the day were cool. Just the lack of articulation. It was a big backward step. I'm excited to see them address this finally a decade later. Um, and yeah, we'll take a look at the comparison with the one that is coming with the Ghost, um, which is of course later seasons after he's blinded by Mole. Um, He's got the alternate head there, which they have addressed because um, they still painted the eyes on the on the scarred eye, which, you know, at that point, his eyes are just about cooked. So um, they did address that, and that, that will be fixed before that release. So we're going to have two Kanans. It's awesome. I'm loving the look of both of them. Um, that season one one, though, that's, that's tickling my fancy big time. And yeah, last but not least, we have Garazeb Aurelius, also known as Zeb. Um, unfortunately, this one's going to be coming out in a box, a deluxe box for for God knows what reason. The one that's coming with the Haslab isn't much different. It's coming on a card. Um, 
yeah, this one, he has the shoulder pads and a slightly different belt as, or the shoulder armor, sorry, um, as he appeared in season one and two. I can't remember exactly when he changed over and altered his, he didn't have a big change. It wasn't a big change for Zeb, um, but different enough that they justified a, a new release of the figure, which is cool. I'm totally fine with, with Zeb getting another release. Could have been on a card though, let's be honest. Because um, as we take a look at the figure here on the bubble for the card back that comes with the Phantom, you can sort of see the differences in the figure, mainly the shoulder pads, um, the weapon is sort of obstructing his belt, but you can see that it's different. But look how nice he looks on the bubble, he's all happy and smiley. That's obviously another difference between the two figures is the head sculpts. Zeb's coming with a bit of a smile with the ghost, um, and this one is sort of battle mode, so hope you, I'm sure you'll be able to switch them out if you decide to open up your HasLab version. Um, but yeah, another another great looking figure. Just put it on a card, Hasbro. It doesn't need to come in a box, there's nothing deluxe about it. Um, we don't get discount for smaller figures, so... Um, yeah, that's just my thoughts. Um, excited to see the official press images and card backs and stuff when they're released. Like I said, it'll probably be as soon as this video is uploaded and you finish watching it. So <laughs> it's always the way. So I appreciate you coming. That's all from WonderCon for Star Wars. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, may the force be with you always.